Uh, Meltzer would say the crowd was going nuts for almost every spot. The one spot that didn't get a reaction was Austin stomping on <laughs> Dude Loves False Teeth. Jeez. That's when I thought would get the huge reaction. Right. And then to make things even you know more bizarre, and I talked about this on the first episode of Treasures, when Steve stomps the mud hole in those false teeth, and he did, I saw him walk it dry. He walked, well, first, not before he walked it dry. And then he threw him out to the crowd. We come back to Milwaukee either four or six months later, and there's a, either security guard or police officer. Uh, Mick, we've got something for you from a fan. It's in a gift box wrapped up. I open it up, and it's my front teeth. And I'm thinking this is a baseball hit into the crowd, yes. right? This is a given that this is a unique souvenir. Yes. And instead it becomes, uh, it, it comes back to me, and I didn't end up using them. What'd you again. do with them? I would only wear them when I was Santa. And uh, the reason I decided to get the bottom teeth taken care of, you know how wrestlers go, well, I would do it, but would my character do it? Oh, I see. Yeah. So I finally reached a point where uh, the teeth had rotted so badly, the ones that were knocked down and put back in. And I thought, well, Mick Foley might have rotten, nasty, green and blue teeth, but Santa wouldn't. And so I got the one out of there with a ball peen hammer. <laughs> This, we were having trouble finding uh, a dentist who would let me keep the teeth. Kids get to keep their teeth, but adults is considered refuse, you know, it's garbage, dirty. And so I did find a dentist who would let me keep the tooth. And so that's out there somewhere. I think Dr. Britt Baker would let you keep a tooth? I'm going to ask her. I'll have I mean, to have a conversation with Dr. Baker as soon as we... Uh, 